Okay. Did it again. Sorry. Yo, this this dick had Kyrie, right? The da this is the downfall of Kyrie. I already skipped, you know, to that. I'm talking about 10 different things right now. I'm sorry. So, I was talking about Kyrie Irving and how, how much of a dickhead this guy is. How much, how much of a, how much of a piece of shit this Mulian <laughs> Mama Luke motherfucker is. I, 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 as a Celtics fan, we told the Nets fans this would happen. This was going to happen. I remember, I remember in the beginning of the season in like 2019, 2019-20 season, and I went to that that the first Nets game in uh, TD Garden. Kyrie, Kyrie didn't show up. We almost lost, fucking Bruce Brown or something like that. Guys are just hitting fucking shots. Almost lost that game. Kevin Walker made a couple of clutch baskets. I gotta watch that game again. Uh, I'm getting off topic. I went to that game. I was chanting Kyrie sucks. Fucking loved it. Dave Portnoy was there. Gucci Man was there. Fucking fabulous night. Fabulous night in New England history. You know, Celtic history. This fucking loser. I like I we t I and and before before that game I was I was ta I was talking to Nets fans because there were I looked I, I, as I do the purveyor of reading tweets and then going after people's opinions I don't agree with. <laughs> I had to go through because they were talking. It was like the sign up because outside of TD Garden, there was like a coward poster with Kyrie's face on it, and it said, it said coward. <laughs> and and ESPN posted that picture, and the Nets fans were like, they called us racist for one. They they called us racist, and then they were saying, this guy did everything for you guys, and this is how you treat him. And blah, all, this, all this blah 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 bullshit. All this blah 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 bullshit. And these were the same thing, mind you, that Cavs fans were telling us. I, because I remember, I do remember Cavs fans kind of telling us like, "Oh, this guy." Because, because when he did get here, he was like, kind of forced his way out of here. Didn't want to play with LeBron anymore. You know, he was sick and tired of playing with LeBron. Couldn't deal with that shit. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. You're uh, Lucifer Mad, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This this dickhead, Kyrie Irving. The first year was obviously amazing. It was it was a fun first year, even though he got injured and he's very injury prone and could barely play that first year. The games he was in, I'm a diehard fucking legendary fucking games, and that team was so balls, man. So balls. You can't run it back the same and expect everything to be all hunky dory for the Celtics to be back in the finals next year. It's not cross your fingers, hope Tatum matures further, learns from the experience in the finals. It's, it's. The East doesn't get better. Right. That second part is the thing, like, you can't count on that. Right. No, we're going to run it back. It might work out that way, but that to me is a failing strategy. We, we got, we, 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 we man, if he didn't get injured, we possibly could have won a championship. You know, we probably could have won a championship and everything would have been a safe haven. And maybe we all would have went out. And maybe Kyrie wouldn't be like Antonio fucking Brown and, and destroying team after team after team after team. But Nicholas Batum? Fucking Celtics? What the fuck, bro? What are, we, what are we fucking doing right now? What the fuck is this guy doing, man? Like fucking Spurs ass players, bro. We're getting Spurs ass, Pistons ass fucking players. <sighs> no, we're gonna be one of those teams, eh? Alright, All right, we're gonna be one of those fucking teams. Yeah, the Deontay Murray, man. That's my fucking guy. That's my fucking guy, Deontay Murray. He told us to get the fuck out of here. He said, get the fuck out of here when he hit that, he hit that post fade game winner on us. He cooked us, man. He fucking cooked my, yo, he cooked us, bro. When we faced him that second time, we kicked this, we kicked the Spurs fucking ass the second time. But when we, when they, when we faced him in the game, getting in the season, man, they fucking cooked up, bro. Dante Murray fucking cooked us. He went to work, bro. Look at these highlights. Look at these fucking highlights, bro. He's going to fucking work on us. Look at this shit. Defensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. Look at that. Look at this. I remember this. It was like the game winning bucket, too. He's the building block and centerpiece of what the Spurs are building around. They have three first round picks for him. Look at this, bro. Look at this. Here? Yeah, unless you're moving Brown. Bro, I'm probably not even showing it. Oh, yeah, I'm getting it. Cooking us. Bro, he's cooking. Bro, I need mean, y'all. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, I need him on my team. I need him on my team. I need him on the Celtics. Whatever it takes. Because he cooked us. If you cook us like that, bro, that's. Hey. Fuck, yo, he got that ant in him. Yo, yo. but back, back to Kyrie, back to Kyrie right now. Is this, is this even recording? Okay. Back to Kyrie. That second year, I just, I don't know where it went off. He did look out of weight though. He did look out of shape. He didn't even look like he came into shape too. Like he looked, he had an afro, I think. No, he got rid of his afro, and he came with a fade, and he looked out of shape, and he had a beard. And he just, he just looked, I, I don't know, man. He, he just didn't look right. The team didn't even feel right either. Got a healthy Gordon Hayward, healthy Kyrie. We're gonna head into the season with, uh, you know, sophomore year, uh, Tatum and Brown and shit like that. Yeah, man, we were looking. We were looking. I think our first game was against the Seventy Sixers. Brown dunked on fucking. Uh, he dunked. He fucking dunked on that nigga Joel Embiid, bro. He fucking. <laughs> Oh, he embarrassed his fucking ass. He embarrassed that nigga Joel Embiid. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, we, we looked like we were ready to take the championship right then and there, bro. Oh, I gotta watch that game again, too. Because he dunked on that nigga Joel Embiid, bro. Oh my god. Well, he almost missed a dunk, bro. But, like, the moment Joel Embiid's flopping ass went on the fucking ground... Embarrassing moment for the Sixers. They got us back, though. 
That nigga Jimmy Butler got a stick. Yo, he, that nigga, ah! The war, bro. Those are wars. Fucking wars you should have met in the playoffs. You should have met in the fucking playoffs, bro. Those were wars. Wars. But that's that's how it was. That's how it was. They was cooking. They was cooking though. They was cooking us. A lot of teams was cooking us, bro. And then all of a sudden, like Kyrie comes out with a veteran shit. We need a veteran. This team needs a veteran. Ten year veteran and shit like that. Something like that. This <laughs> we we need a veteran. You know, like just out of out of nowhere. And the thing is, Kyrie, you're you're supposed to be the leader of the team. This is your team. And like I don't know, he just he couldn't realize that this is his team and it needs to take control. And this is these are the situation that Kyrie like he needs to take control, bro. He needs to take control. That that LeBron shit, he should have owned that sidekick shit. You need to know your place. Know your place. Maybe he maybe he did want to go out on his own. This was Kyrie on his own. And he still wanted help. He had his chance on the Celtics to establish to be himself as a man and as a player. He came out of a fucking Nike commercial with his dad. And he's in the Celtics rafters. And his dad played in the garden too. And he had the thing with the rafters. He said he wanted to be, he wanted to be, you know. This was your chance to take your team. He, he we faced, we faced uh, the Banner Day. And we fucking faced uh, LeBron and uh, they embarrassed that Paul Pierce jersey retirement shit. And they get fucking hit LeBron with a, a like fucking crossed him and a spin. And he, yo, he cooked LeBron, man. And we was up by like 20 in the first. And then they came back and like we did in the NBA Finals this year. We got up and we didn't know what to do. We didn't know how to close it out. We just like, we just, I don't know. We just wanted them to come back and make it again so we could... I don't know what we do. I really don't know. This is like a thing that we do when we go out and get big leads and we don't know how to like just end it. Keep on piling on them. We don't have a killer mentality. We just would think that a team would just wivel because we punch them so hard. No, you need to keep on punching them until they die. Grim, grim it may sound. That is the truth. You need to keep on punching. We could have... We, yo, the Warriors were there for the taking in that game six. We had them in the first half. We had no killer in mentality. We let them come back. We literally let them come back. We just thought the Warriors were quick. We said... Because we thought... Because that's what Miami did. That's what Miami did. Miami fucking sat back. And this team isn't Miami, bro. We thought they would sit back like Miami. Or like the Bucks. Because the Bucks would... They did that too. As much as champions they are. They are... I don't know. Pussies. In a sense. Because they would take games. They would just take games and be like... Alright, well, well, we got... We got game five. We'll, we'll go for game five. You know, or we got we got game three at home, so we'll go for game three at home. Like uh, you know, the Heat did with fucking game six, bro. Or no, what uh, what they did with game five? He could have took the lead in game five, ended it in game six. They let us win that game in five. Jones is going to get us in trouble. 
Yeah, there it is. Yeah, right, right. Fuck. That he said at the time. Cause that means, oh, maybe, maybe they want him. Maybe he does want to go there. All right, all right, all right. Back to Kyrie, back to Kyrie, back to Kyrie, back to Kyrie. I, I'm not cutting this out. This is unfiltered. I'm unfiltered. These are like the Michael Rappaport podcast. Unfiltered. Well, actually, he edits his podcast, but this is, this is, you know, greatness in its all. You know, rambling greatness in its all. When you get a rant like this, and you, I'm getting off topic, but I don't fucking care because I'm passionate about this. When you get rants like this and you put them out, I, I, I don't know. They just happen. This is greatness. They turned things around, they got there, and he got worse by the game on the biggest stage. I, I don't know what happened with Kyrie that year. Uh, he said it was a family issue, but, like, what a fam- why would a family issue just to cause you to be, like, you want to get out of a situation? You ask the fans if you they want... Dude, they gave you a fucking standing ovation at the beginning of the season when he said, I would like to re-sign with the Boston Celtics. Bro, we were ecstatic as fuck, bro. I, when I heard this, bro, I was like... Let's fucking go. We got our fucking superstar. Montreal Canadiens got Chesper Kakinyemi. Shit, the tides were looking high for me, you know, in my life. I got cold coffee with Nick Suzuki, though, so I ain't complaining, you know. And we get the first overall draft pick. Baby, don't take Shane Wright. Take Slavkoski. Hey, you know, this is, this is, this is a show. I'm like Freddie, Mer- I'm like the Freddie Mercury of rants. You know, I am a showman. But uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. He he, he said he had a family issue. I I, I think it's bullshit because he, he was ecstatic. Bro, we wanted to be on the team. And they don't even have like, like some, you know, key Fucking hit his head. Dog hit his head. I just don't know what, what he wanted, man. He, he left. He left the team. He said that that's why he wanted to leave the team. I, I'm getting off topic. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on. I'm like fucking, uh, I'm fucking up like, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in Once Upon a Time in, uh, Hollywood right now. Alright. He he said that he wanted to be on the team and he said and the fans wanted him back and then like just we had like some bad losses because I went to another game. I went to a game uh that year, and even even because this was in November, I went to the game and it was like it was like the day after my birthday. We faced so after the game, he dropped fucking fifty two against Kawhi and the Raptors. Fucking, fucking moment, and he hit some shots, and he hit some it like shots. Ah, Tatum couldn't even hit them fucking shots, man. Tatum couldn't even hit them shots. Fucking all he was going all he went off. Drop fifty two. 
We were facing the Utah Jazz. They sucked. You know, uh, but they had Donovan Mitchell, so it would kind of be a good game. You know, I thought it would be a good, good, tight, close game because it's Donovan Mitchell. You know, they're a young team, so it's, they're going to keep it tight. You know, they're not going to, they're not like, you know, Orlando, you know. I didn't want to, I, because I could go see an Orlando Celtics game and I could just go and see fucking wins. Or I could challenge myself to see my team face the best competition and hope that we actually pull it out, you know. I, I took that fucking chance. And uh, they let me down badly. Uh, they went on a, a meteoric run in like the second quarter, close to halftime, and made it tight. And then they came out in the third quarter and they fucking stunk it up. Made like a third quarter kind of rush for four points, hit a couple of threes, ooh, celebrations, crowds going, and then they give up uh, two buckets and like a duck from Rudy Gobert. So that was the type of night I had to deal with and, and ponder. Uh, uh, not on my birthday, but the day after my birthday. He won on my birthday. Thank you. Thank you for actually winning on my birthday. But, uh, the day, my birthday present, they... Oof, voice crack. My birthday present, they fucking stunk it up. And that was just the basis. And there were booze, I think. No, maybe. Uh, no, I don't think there were booze. Maybe. I think there were booze. I know there were booze in the New York games. That we fucking sucked it up to. Because we lost some games against the Knicks. Uh, we, were, we were losing just fucking easy games. Like generally easy games. We lost. And then we had like a kind of run. And he said like fuck Thanksgiving. Like bro he just. Then his attitude deteriorated to the media. And then his attitude attitude deteriorated to like, like bro, we're just asking him questions, and then he just acts like he doesn't want to be bothered. Like he doesn't want to be asked the leader questions, because we were giving him the leader questions. Like this is your team, this is your team, this is your team, and he couldn't accept the role of the fact that this is your fucking team. You sat out here. You said you didn't want to be with your side. You you didn't want to be the fucking sidekick. Then he wants to be the sidekick with KD. He's like, all right, I'll be the sidekick. Maybe I need to be the sidekick. He still can't even get it right. But he wanted to be the, he didn't want to be the sidekick anymore. Okay, respect your decision. He wanted to do it on his own. What does he do on his own? Good first year, trying to fill in, do anything, taking charge. He took some charges too. Yeah, he does take charges, but I never really... He didn't take charges in the NBA Finals. I didn't see him flopping like Marcus Smart. You know, he would play, you know, defensive level heightened. You know? <clears throat> but he then, then he fucking just... Like he, he couldn't accept the fact that like he was getting answered these questions in the second year because we went to the conference finals. You didn't play in the conference finals. These guys did. I don't know if he felt selected by that because we saw what the future was, literally. Because these two niggas actually went to the finals and they were the ones carrying us in the fucking playoffs. So we saw the future. And I think, I don't know, but like, bro, we were accepting that you could come in here and be the big three. Like, Bro, we will take all the fucking superstars. We're like the fucking Lakers with this shit. We'll take all the superstars and think that we deserve all the fucking superstars. This nigga thought, all right, these guys got two superstars. This is Jason Tatum's team. Because he saw that and he knew this is Jason Tatum's team. And he couldn't accept the fact that it kind of was going to be Jason Tatum's team in the future. And he really wanted to be on a team where he's just fully the man. Bro, you take over a situation like that. Uh, there are plenty, like... Like, there are plenty of teams that just, like, like, I, I could think, I could, I'm, I don't want to cross sports here. But, like, you take hockey, for example. The captain of the team ain't always the best player. I mean, the captain of the team is a good player, but they ain't the best damn player. Uh, we're going to take Montreal, for example. Brendan Gallagher will probably be our fucking captain. He ain't the best damn player. You do this with the Rangers, bro. They had Ryan Callahan. As their fucking captain. He's not like. He ain't. The, Ryan Callahan. Ain't a great player. He ain't a bad player. But he ain't. 
Ovechkin, and he was rated their best player. So, these are, you know, like, he still could have been a leader. Like, just be a leader. Like, just accept the fact that you're on a good team. You don't need, maybe, maybe you're not going to be the number one, but you're on a great opportunity, bro. And it's a young team with young guys, and you can be their mentor. And he didn't want to, I don't know, he didn't want to do that. He didn't want to babysit or something. He didn't want to go through the theatrics of that. But he, he just, he just quit. He just quit midway through. He imploded. His character imploded. He acted bad to the media. Started saying fuck Thanksgiving. He was like, I can't wait until this is all over. I just can't wait until the playoffs. Yeah, where I can shoot like fucking 11 from three, uh, you know. Or was it like 18 for three? Or he went three for 18 or something like that. And, in like game five, you know, so yeah, yeah, I remember that game five against the Bucks in 2019. Gave you the gave you the shots too. Had the chance to be the leader, didn't want to take the chance. And he throws, he throws, you know, he just, he threw in the fucking towel. He literally threw in the fucking towel. He went to the All-Star game. I don't know how he made the All-Star team fucking suck. But he goes to the All-Star game, and... He goes to the All-Star game, and he's over here with KD. Two max slots, two max slots. We know what he said. We know exactly what he said. He said two max slots. Dude, that just, I, like, I knew, I knew, I knew the season was over, bro. I just knew it was over. Like, I kind of, like, I, I kind of, like, no, maybe he might stay, he might stay. I, I didn't fully, 100% believe that he would stay. Let's put it at that. Like, if you put a scale to 1 to 10, it wouldn't be 10. That, that's for damn sure. So, I wasn't confident in him staying, but I kind of was optimistic on him staying and i was i was wrong but kind of right because i knew he wouldn't fucking stay because he did say two back slots i wouldn't be shocked i wouldn't be surprised if he didn't leave and he fucking left and of course he went with kate he went with kd and that news like when i when that shit dropped i just really was like really angry like, I, I remember being, like, really pissed because I was like, this is the talk of town. And I knew about this the whole time because we saw this whole shit from the fucking All-Star game and them two talking together, jerking each other fucking off under the fucking bleachers at the All-Star game, doing this, sh you know, fucking, you know, come on, man. Come on. Quit on your fucking team. You fucking quit on the fucking team, bro. He checked out at the All-Star game. He fucking checked out at the All-Star game. That shit hurts, bro. You check out at the All-Star game on a team that can win a championship. That's incredible, bro. That's incredible. We saw what we did against the Raptors, bro. Them niggas took the chip. They took the chip. And we... Kyrie scored 52. Kawhi scored 47. Could have beat them. We could have beat the fucking Warriors. Could have won a championship, and he didn't want that for whatever reason. He's a bad state of mind. That's what he said. But it's okay. We go to the NBA Finals, and he hasn't. So. What has he done? <laughs> I mean, we could have won. We could have won. I know we could have won with him. So that's for damn sure. So step your shit up, Tatum. So, so wash my fucking clothes. Uh, my clothes. 
is is extremely stop your game of tail like, what, what is really out there for you to do like without bending over backwards or somebody basically stripping you for you to move up in the draft to get an unknown to somebody that you already have some known uh that you already know what they can give to you you know uh, moving market smart is not something that i would be entertaining unless it's something that you know like okay that pushes over the hump and and i don't i don't see that out there I can't. I just can't believe he did that to us, man. I don't know. I don't know where it just came off where we didn't want him anymore. But kick this fucking ass, you know. He kicked our ass the first time. Gave him that, you know. Even though we had no Jalen Brown, team wasn't really healthy. So take that. We took that on the chin. Went to Eastern Conference Finals, though, without him. Went to the Eastern Conference Finals, though, without him. Uh, went there twice without him, too. Went there three times without his bitch ass, in fact. So, that's, that's, 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. But yes, this is the legacy of Ka I don't know how to end this shit. I'm, I, you know, I'm gonna. I want to talk on. I want to probably get to the Montreal Canadiens, but this is gonna be too long. My phone is on fire right now. God damn minutes. All right. Yeah. Bye.